Hi all folks, this is Max from HCCEvoHacks.com. So I've got the MIUI ROM, MUI ROM, MIUI ROM for the HCC Evo 3D. Um, this one, the only thing bad about this ROM is that it doesn't get 4G, but if you don't mind not having a 4G, um, maybe you don't live in an area with 4G signals, um, then this is a very good ROM. Um, I have reviewed it just now for Nexus S. You can do stuff like this, kind of like a. This is the same feature on um, what is it? Galaxy uh, S2, which is cool. Another cool feature is you can hold on to the icons, and you can do this and drop and drop it down. How come? Why don't all you know ROM support this? I don't know why, but I think you know eventually. Um, HTC is going to pick up on it and hopefully they'll have this kind of features um, and other than that you can do uh, stuff like well, um, do a long press oh there we go um, you can put widgets you know power control um, this is pretty much the same as before I guess and let me see you can get a bunch of uh, themes on Mayui ROM. Um, there's a, uh, this app called Theme. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Um, there we go, Themes. And you can go to Online Themes and get a bunch of different themes um, that users upload it. Um, should be showing up here soon. Here. Okay, for some reason my network's funky today. There we go. So it's going to load up a bunch of ROMs, um, and you can change skins easily. Just click on it, download, and apply. Um, so this is one of the best ROMs with uh, theme switchers, and also it has a DND mode. Um, you can put like you know, if your ex-girlfriend starts calling you, then you can blacklist her, so you never have to pick up uh, calls. Uh, it's got filter, spam messages, anti-stranger. Um, let me see what else is cool about this ROM. Oh, and the quick settings is cool. You got the toggles, very quick notifications, um, brightness, and also settings a little bit different. Personal, system, uh, programs. Um, let me see. What else can I show you? Oh, you can also do stuff like, uh, you know, double click and control the music. Um, you can also activate the voice search by holding down the search button. Well, maybe not on this one. Um, and everything else is working fine, like the camera, it's working. And I'm not sure, I think you lose 3D on this one, do you? Let me try it. Yeah, you lose 3D recording on this one in video, um, which kind of sucks. But you might not, it might not be such a bad thing for those of you who don't use it often. Um, I just find, you know, my Wii ROM is better for other phones, um, but you know, you can check it out. It's still a really great ROM. If you don't mind some of the things that's not working, um, there's a lot of customizations you can do. So, check it out. Uh, that was a short review of the MyUI ROM, and I just wish they really worked on the 4G. If, you know, then it would make it complete. So, and the 3D feature. So that's the review of MyUI ROM, and uh, we're probably gonna have probably have another question questionnaire tomorrow video and ask you guys what you want me to review um, for the day but I'm getting really tired I've been reviewing ROMs all day long and watching Netflix and so I think this is the last video for the day but tomorrow I'll have a review of the CM7 mod for the Evo 3D and also I'll have a Bindroid ROM for the Galaxy Tab 10.1 and uh, I'll have another questionnaire that way I can you know, I can go look at one one, one video and you'll have all the comments um, for that day. So watch out for that video again. I think I'm going to do it again because I'm getting good feedback. 
and thanks again everyone who uh, gave me feedback and ideas for today. As you can see I started with a really, you know, energized voice but I'm tired now. I can't do any more ROM reviews. Alright, see you later.